Oh, public order. Holy crap. That was that was a difficult one to just try and decide with people trying to assassinate one another. Although we just had a lot of governor positions open up. Did people die? Hold on. Nat oh, someone died by natural causes. Okay. So, oh, it's telling me that I've got all these, so I've got one more governor position available and it's going, hey, could you do something here? Would be a good idea. <laughs> Now we can take this main settlement, which I do have two armies to do that, so I can besiege it and then move up with an army, um, which would probably be a good idea. This is at minus seven now. Oh, I'm actually concerned that... Ow! <laughs> Look at minus... Why? Why would you give me this? Minus three public order in all regions. That's just not fair. Why did you deserve that? Let's take the uh, coastal settlement. Here we are. We're actually at Hadrian's Wall. Um, if you can see here, this is the old Roman wall, which is still um, got some towers in places. But yeah, this is where Hadrian's... The actual um, border is further north. The actual Of today's border, anyway. I think it's up here. But yeah, that's Hadrian's. That's where the old border used to be. It's kind of interesting to see. Uh, let me recruit a unit, because I feel I need a, another Archman. Um... So we've got Militia Fried, which are these ones. I'm going to go select. Because I never really replaced the Frieds. But I'm going to replace with a better one. And then I can move this army up this turn to be in position to besiege, I guess. Got a couple upgrades. So we've got a governor position. And his loyalty could do with a bit of increase. We'll sneak you in. Uh, another governor whose zeal is quite low. Just going around just like, I'll increase you, increase you. He's my general, so he could do with a bit more command. So yeah, we we are one short. Now, the idea, you do want a governor in a settlement which is the worst to have. Or which is the one that's got the most penalty. So, settlements which are public order... It's what I should have been doing from the start. So like this one down here, this one's quite negative. And also this one up here. So I should be putting governors in places where the loyalty is quite low. So I don't believe there is a governor in East Sussex. So if I put someone in there that is quite high in being a governor, it would help. So you've got Oda here, who's a governor already. Um, we've got Borick, which has got 10 governors. He actually isn't one. So he would be probably quite good to have as a governor. His zeal's not high, but everything else is good. So yeah, we'll, we'll make him a governor. So what it should do, if it plays out well, is that would should update a turn. But we just have to wait, maybe. But the idea is you want governors that increase public order to be in in, in problem, uh, problem areas. So kind of a rebellion over there. That's kind of leveled up. So I think we're kind of good. I'm just going to go around and see if we can upgrade any buildings just to get some more happiness. Or Which one's my worst ones? I think this one's two. Because you're going to have to, I'm going to have to keep looking at them and go, okay, what needs improving? It's like this one's seven. But I think it's just because I'm... F but there's not much I can really do right now. I'm also increasing the court, court hall. Um, does this one need improving now? I'm actually saying that. What's that? Ooh. King's Palace. King's Court. Oh, because we've taken a, this. This is one of the ones. Ooh. This is the Viking. This is the, their main capital. So we can actually increase it and get more public order. And yeah, we'll do that. It gives me more fame. East Sussex rebelled. We've got a noble birth. We've got a, a little kindness. So faction allegiance is going to increase. Um, so we got a rebellion down here. They're actually, they haven't taken it. They've just rebelled and done out. So I just need to, where's my other army? I was moving around, wasn't I? Uh, here we go. All right, march. How long is it going to take you to get there? Three turns. It's cool for now. It's probably going to make this settlement unhappy. Yeah. But I guess I could increase the public order by grabbing that. Up, upgrade. In general, we'll leave this one round. 
Uh, how is this settlement in terms of happiness now? It's still minus two, even though it's got an army sat right on top of it. <laughs> this is a bit strange. We do have a new a rebel army that's kind of popped up, but this is a special one. So let's jump in with the... Um, we want to grab these. I don't want them taking the settlement. And then we can wait in a couple of turns for this army to recoup its forces. Uh, we also can send this army to take this next settlement. And I think that means we've got all control of them. The entire province will be under our control. Aye, there we go. Look at that. Now we're going to wait for the legions to kind of catch up a little bit. Um, but overall it's still under my control. But we are now as far north... Now, I don't know if, if these guys are beating the Norse. It's, it's hard to tell. The Norse have taken a few provinces, as you can see here. But they've also lost a few. Now, there's another army. The Valas, Valhalla's Chosen. Hmm. I just want to get close enough so I can declare war and then start moving through territories. And um, hopefully I can have, maybe have some alliance with these guys. So let's, let's have a little diplomacy. Are they going to be okay with me? How are you doing? We've got a declaration of friendship. Um, the defensive pact they won't want. Military alliance they don't want. Because the other settlement, uh, the other um, person that was up here has been destroyed. So how strong are these guys? Great power. So they hate me because I'm a great power. Um, but they do like it. They've had diplomatic, a military action against Northumbria. But overall, I'm going to have to destroy them anyway. But it means I'm going to have to take every single one of these settlements. The more they take, the more I'm going to have to take back off them. Which is just awkward. While they're saying that, are you... How are you? Are you at war with anyone? You're at war with the Norse as well. And you've got military alliance with the... Bryfin. But you guys kind of hate each other in general. And he's a military ally of the... Daflin, who I was at war with a bit ago. I mean, I'd like to get friendship with all these guys, if possible. Um, okay. What about you? Can you give me a friendship agreement as well? I think... No. He doesn't want one. This is like, the Vikings love me, but the Irish hate me. Right, defensive pack now. Okay, so I'm going to have to wait a few more turns. I can't, I can't offer them anything particular, because I don't have the income or money to do it. And I'm obviously trying to uh, claim a couple of these settlements, because how many of these? So there is, yeah, a few settlements that are under rebel control. Yeah, Welsh rebels. And there's this smaller settlement. Um, and they're actually upgrading the market, which would be kind of nice to, for them to upgrade, but we're going to take it. No, Bjorific? Frick. I hate pronouncing names. The crown doesn't belong to you. You're merely its current keeper. In the eyes of the elders, appropriate. Great. So we've got uh, someone else trying to say, I want that settlement. I want the crown. Give me it. So we can still wait um, here. But we can actually take this, though. Or we can just put it under siege. Yeah, just put it under siege, and then we can, in between turns, finish it off. Uh, we've actually completed this next civic, so that means that one's done. Um, we can actually get these ones now and get raiding. I don't really do much raiding though, which is the thing. We'll keep costs for all units, but we get a massive boost in food production, which I don't need. Um, let's get these. So we've got shield command, which is roll armor. We've got military prestige, which gives recruitment cost. I like something that reduces the upkeep cost. Ah, see, look at that. Minus upkeep costs for all units in the army. Military career. So we'll go this way. We'll get the military careers. And I think that will help. And then we also have... That's minus income. Minus income. Ah, so it just basically increases the chance. Hmm. Okay. It's good. We've got a little upgrade to grab. Let's get some more zeal. Um, the governor has died, hasn't he? So we just need to replace him. So which province did he die in? Wow, look at this. Ow! Minus 10. What is going on? 
Right. Any good governors that I can use? Not really. It's a bit awkward. Um, who are we going to use for Edgar? And put him down in like here. Hmm. I wish I could like see an overview of public order just to help. Um, in the meantime, because it's kind of hard to tell. Let's put him in Hawaii. Um, no, North Mercia. Because he's a bit of a good governor already. Um, actually, no, he gives strict though, so we're actually kind of piss. He's impassioned, so he would be in his. Um, no, we don't want to put him in. Never mind. What about him? He's loyal, producer, curious, trustworthy. He is chuffed to bits. Oh, yeah, we definitely want him as a. Uh, he's a very good governor. Someone who's loyal, you want to have. Okay, so what's the other settlement to down here? Dan Seth. Dan Seth has been very unhappy with me. Uh, can I give you anything? No, we're still trying to upgrade the tavern, aren't we? Let's upgrade the abbey, or maybe this. Or this. Let's actually make the garrison stronger. Um, we lose some more money. So let's upgrade the abbey. It's a good one to go for. And then we could upgrade this as well. Oh, that's actually already quite leveled up. Let's upgrade this. We lose some income, but overall we get um, able to use our, move our army around. This army is going to stay here. We got a rebellion twice. We got enemies killed. So that was the rebellion. We got um, Hogarator, which we believe we need to kill him at some point. Because we do have a problem with allegiances. Um... Looks like my vassal may take this settlement. But, uh, yeah, so let's just move quickly. Yeah, I'm just going to be out. So we'll, we'll go to here and we'll see what happens. Because I'd, I'd hate to lose it. But then saying that it is one of the main causes of some unhappiness. So it's kind of a bit of a mix. Oh, and we do have this down here. Rebellion. So let's march south, guys. Because I don't think there's any more that are happening up here, which is good. We did actually take this as well. Which gives me timber. And there's a little army here from North Umbria, which is facing off against uh, these guys in the north. So let's move up. Let's take the settlement. So I think we're in a good position to do it. There we have it. Captured. So we can liberate it, which would give us Cumbria. Which would actually... There would be a military ally, and it means that I wouldn't have to worry about occupying the settlement, but I already hold most of the territories, so it's kind of like, hmm, do I? Because it would only give us an alliance, not a vassal. So I'm occupying it. We probably have to kill these guys as well. So let's do that. No rebellions. There we go. Let's move forward and take this other settlement. And this guy can stay. I mean, we can actually run forward and take it quickly, but we'd have to run through. I wonder if they'd give me open borders. So if I can have open borders, I can walk through. But we'll say we got the, uh, the Scottish faction back alive again. That's rebelled. It's kind of nice to see. It'll probably get crushed quite quickly, though. Um, military access, please. I'll give you some money. How much do you want for it? Wow, am I going to have to really give them a, a big substantial payment for them to allow me to walk through? Really? 3,000 is my limit. I'm not going any higher than that because that's just extortionary. No, screw you then. Just going to have to wait. I mean, I could run through the territory and take it. Um... But then saying that, would it benefit me in any particular order? No, really. Not to be honest, it would... Uh... Yeah, the allegiance would be a bit of an issue. We'll just have to see. And I need to take this far settlement down here. Uh, this needs repairing, so we can just do that quickly. Yeah, it's always a bit of an interesting one. Um, happiness. 
Alright, so this would increase public order, which would be good. Let's spend that on you. So it's taking the majority of my money. Oh, there's a salmon over here that needs increasing. Oh, well, it's just industry. Ah, yeah, this one's done. Cool. So what could we do here? We could get a villa, a state, which would give public order and a noble estate, which we don't have many of them, which I think would be a good idea to have. Um, ooh, blackmail. Ethelstan, he wants... Pay him off, we lose influence, but I guess we can afford it. Yeah, I'll do for now. Bit of a chip on my income. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that there for this session so far. It's done well. We've pushed further and further north. Morphumbria is, is more or less no more now. Uh, they've just got a couple of, I think this last minor settlement left. But once that's taken and this arm is destroyed, um, that means we're quite much closer to uh, attacking the Norse in the far north of Scotland. I just wish I could help out a bit easier, but the guys here are very much quite... Uh, the Sundrays, are, or whatever they are, is... The Vikings aren't being helpful in their own sense. They've got their own mini-civil war going on in the British Isles, and they don't want me to join in. Um, but that's good. We do have some upgrades to do, and we've managed... To, obviously, we've got issues with public order kind of creeping in, but that should go away in a couple of turns, which should then make it a bit easier. I'm trying to upgrade a lot of my buildings now to try and... Because the problem when you expand too much and you don't have the money to upgrade your settlements, you then actually get destroyed from the inside out instead of the outside in. So it's it's quite a difficult one to you have to manage quite a lot. Um, but yeah, if you have got any hints or tips or any general comments what I could be doing better or what I should be doing or how bad I am doing, um, then please by all means leave in the comments below. But what I will say is thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you enjoy what you're seeing, then please by all means leave a like, comment down below, share this video, even subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for my next one, but until then, I'll see you later.